FederatCoach.com, the first patented AI for IOL calculations. Now, these pioneering and unique patents cover any formula for IOLs, and let me tell you about them. Now, we first thought of this idea many, many years ago. AI seems very obvious now, but let me tell you, 15 years ago, it was not. And the IOLcalc.com website registered in the year 2000. Yeah, 25 years ago. This is a long time coming. Now, our partnership here is with John Lattice. He's our big brains behind the project here. Albert John, chairman of the University of Virginia, and also a critical thinker here. And, of course, the godfather of ophthalmology, Dick Lindstrom. This is our team, and we're working hard to bring you the best. Now, these are the two patents. You can look them up online. The first one was graduate, granted last year, February 2024. And then this one is granted just a month ago, January of 2025. These are unique. They're very broad. They apply to all formulas, all input variables. They're tested, peer-reviewed with extremely accurate data, and also, these are eternal. They evolve in perpetuity. Patents are granted in the USA, Europe, and China even. Here's the patent. Now, we can go through this. Again, you can look up the patent numbers online, and you can find this yourself. But what's very important about the patent is it's very thorough, and it covers so much. And the most important of which is, what are the claims? So when we submit a patent, we have various claims that say, okay, here are the things that we're claiming to be ours uniquely. And we list these 33 claims here in the patent very, very clearly. And again, we can go through all of these. Now, what's important in these claims is this is how we're going to do lens calculations in the future. Gone are the days of optimizing an A constant. No, no, no. This is all going to be done in the cloud for you automatically with AI, better than any human could ever do on his own or her own. Now, all of these right here, those are all considered a formula. As far as our patent is concerned, that's claim one. And our methodology can improve all of them. Now, you say, well, I just adjust my A constant. My friend, that is antiquated. All you're doing is moving this graph up or down. As you know, for average eyes, all the formula work really well. It's the eyes that are not so average. Short eyes, long eyes, steep case, flat case, shallow AC, deep AC. Now, you know that you can't treat a short eye with a steep K. The same as a long eye with a flat K. You have to optimize them differently, and that's the issue with an A constant. If you just change the A constant, all you're going to do is change them up or down. But here's an example how I can individualize sections and optimize even specific eyes here. These are short eyes where I optimize them for my own patients. Again, we've got crowdsourcing, big data, actually we're up to 6,000 users. Imagine you want to optimize one A constant when I can do 10 ranges of axial length, 10 ranges of K, 10 ranges of AC, but that already is 1,000 points in a matrix. We could do a million points in a matrix. And you can optimize for a single surgeon, for multiple surgeons in the same group, or even optimize for all surgeons in a library. For that unusual patient with that 34 millimeter axial length, well, we've got so many eyes like that already in our database. And that's the beauty of what we have here. Again, it's the power of AI, but also with big data. Now, who's the best chess grandmaster of all time? Well, it used to be IBM Deep Blue when Deep Blue beat Kasparov in 1997. But just think, that was 28 years ago. And then eight years ago, Google's Alpha Zero beats all humans 100% of the time. And it was just given the rules of chess and played itself for a few hours. And that is amazing. And it keeps improving with time. So same way that there's no human that can beat a chess computer, there's no human that can do lens calcs better than AI can. And here's an example where we can optimize uh, patients' outcomes by the surgeon. If I use other people's data, I can get about 87% accurate. Compare that to your likely 70% accuracy. And even I use your own data, now you're well into the 90% range. So you have a much more accurate outcome for your patients. I'm going to put in any variables you want here. Axial K and AC depth, you know, but what about posterior cornea? What about equatorial lens vision? Any data you want can go in there, and then we can go ahead and do the adjustment after. And you're going to have that predicted adjustment, and nothing is ever going to be out of bounds. We've got that covered too. Imagine this. you got your patient in the clinic. You do the calcul calculations up in the cloud after you do the biometry. Now do the surgery. We'll tell you what lens to put in the patient's eye. Now the operating room, you've got the real-time guidance, whether it's toric lens alignment, aura, whatever else you want in the operating room. Post-op, put the patient back on the same machine or your autorefractor and get that data automatically sent back to the cloud and you refine the AI algorithm for you, your group, or even for the whole library. And this revolves in perpetuity, guaranteed optimized results. So benefits here, improved workload with guaranteed improved outcomes, self-optimizing methodology for a cloud-based digital OR, helps improve all formulas. It can be IOL specific. It can supplant archaic optimization protocols, 
And it saves money and time on refractive misses. Imagine, if you can achieve this level of accuracy, now you can start to do more of those presbyopic lenses that need you to hit the target. So check it out. It's going to be amazing. Remember, also check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website, plus our new rentarounds.com. Subscribe to both channels for a new free daily email every day. Going to teach you to be a better ophthalmologist, better surgeon. And now we're going to teach you some retina. Check it out.